Hey guys, my name is Brett with Expedition Superstore, and I bet you didn't know I can scooter. Welcome to the build series. Coming at you with episode number two of the build series. Check out what we got. The trail rack, sped rack. It's like a high mid height. We're not quite full height. We're not quite mid height. We're right in between. We wanted to keep it pretty low profile, you know, so we're not getting a ton of wind drag, but we're still getting the height capabilities and able to store a lot underneath the, underneath the rack itself here. What's really cool is we've got gull wing doors on a rack. Bet you haven't seen that before because I sure haven't and I thought it was pretty sweet. So it's all super modular obviously and lockable. So once we close these gull wing doors, we can lock them up right here. They're secure. Once we have the tent on top, gonna be super secure. Unless somebody has an angle grinder, they're not getting in there. And that guys is why we went with the trail racks bed rack system because of form and function. And we are also gonna be installing the ARB sliders. These stock sliders here, although they do work as rock sliders, they're only mounted to the body. And these ones are gonna mount to the body and the frame. Now I'm gonna leave you guys and I'm gonna leave the vehicle with Dalton and Eric and they're gonna give you a quick little how-to and go over the install on these sliders. Before we move on and talk about the sliders, I'll break down the difference of why we took the OEMs off versus the ARB sliders. Uh, let's run through kind of all the perks and the reason we chose this Trail Racks rack. So obviously we're gonna have a 10 on top of this thing. We'll probably go with uh, 230's Armadillo X, maybe the A. Uh, We'll discuss that whenever we get there. Uh, but a big reason we chose this one is it's not quite full height, so we're still going to be uh, not as tall as you would be with a full height rack, uh, but it's a little bit taller than mid height. Huge benefit of this though, it has this paneling on all three sides. So once the tent is on top or something is on top, you're essentially completely locked in inside. And then these side panels function on struts with a lockout mechanism so you can put I don't know the exact weight, but a pretty good amount of weight up here without having to worry about anything wanting to fall down um, with just the struts as support. And then in the rear, it's pretty similar, but a little bit different. So it doesn't use the struts. It uses these poles with lockouts. So you kind of have a little bit of adjustability on height. You can go as high as here and as low as here and still have it locked out. Um, no locking mechanism on this, but assuming your tailgate is closed, this is gonna be completely closed and unable to get access into the bed itself. Another one of the more overlooked things, uh, especially in the mid-size world, is storage. Uh, so five foot bed, especially with a mid-height or a low rack, you don't have a lot of room to keep stuff. Uh, so one really smart thing that Adam at Trail Racks has done, they've added this, uh, like a lifetime table support. I'm sure you could fit others in there, uh, but we've just got one of the smaller lifetimes in there. And it just keeps it, ah! Just keeps it up and out of the way. And then obviously still secured because tent will be up here. So those are most of the main reasons we went with this uh, trail racks bed rack. Uh, it's obviously extremely modular. You've got full panels on the side for easy mounting, uh, lights that can be mounted very easily in the corners. It's got cutouts for chase lights or rear lights in the back. Uh, it's just super easy to work with and it kind of fits our overland um, off-road build a little bit better than some of the other options on the market. One more thing, uh, mounting this is super easy as well. So you just have the OEM rails, or these are actually TerraFlex rails because we optioned this Jeep without the rails. And then the rack just sits on and then bolts in just nearly like any other rack. Like if you have a Tacoma or something, you're probably pretty familiar with the operation. Uh, but yeah, just makes install super easy and very nice. How sick this toolbox is. like 80 series of Land Cruiser inspired. That's pretty sweet. Anyway, so we moved on from the rack situation. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through the sliders, why we chose to remove the factory ones and why we chose ARB to be our slider option. So as you can see, the factory sliders are fine. Steel, which is nice. Uh, the only issue is they're not very big and then they mount just to the body rather than the body and the frame. Nothing wrong with that, just not a proper slider in our eyes. Uh, so these ARB sliders are obviously much beefier. They're gonna work much better in terms of functioning as an actual slider. 
Uh, and then another cool thing, they come with a second piece that drills directly into the body to just add a little bit more protection up in here on the side. And then it's got their cool logo, because he doesn't love logos on vehicles, that will be right there. I'll show you that. So that's how that's gonna look all completed. Another thing, it actually functions as a step as well, which I completely missed on, uh, but it's pretty easy to put together. Essentially just the two pieces. Eric's gonna explain yeah, that a little bit. Remove your uh, factory sliders, remove the three uh, body mount bolts, and uh, basically the bottom of the slider attaches with those three body mount bolts, and now we're gonna drill and uh, rib nut all the bolts in the side that attach it to the body. Yeah, so a relatively easy install, and honestly, I think they've turned out great. Uh, so we'll probably get to that at a later date, just to get everything touched up on it. Um, but yeah, that's how the sliders turned out. We'll see you next week.